everybody. It's Lori, the Silhouette Teacher. Welcome, and today we're going to be learning about welding fonts. We'll learn why you would want to weld a font, and we'll learn how to weld a font. So let's get started. We're going to begin over here with this A, which is our text tab, and we're going to click on that. And then we'll come over here and you'll see with our mouse, this cursor's right here. I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to type a phrase so that you can see what it would look like if you had this phrase on a shirt or on a, like a notebook with, if you use vinyl. So here we go. I love silhouette. And I know that I have spelt it incorrectly, but I want you to see the reasoning behind that in just a moment. So I'm going to come over here with my mouse and my cursor, and I'm going to highlight all of the letters. And then I'm going to come to the right side, and right here, this is our text style panel. So it's all the different types of fonts. I'm going to click on that. And one of my favorite text is Baby Giovanni, so I'm going to go here to the top and it's right there and you see now it's made it into a pretty script I'm going to go ahead and make this where you can see it better so I'm gonna zoom in and you can see right here that in the lettering like between the L and the O or the O and the V or the I and the L the L and the H there are little lines that's exactly the way it will cut out on the vinyl or the HDV or your paper crafts especially if you're doing paper crafting all of these would come apart and you'd have to put them all back together and that would be very difficult when you have a shirt with the HTV on it you can also see these cut lines if you look closely on the shirt and it's liable to come up and peel easier and then on the vinyl um, sometimes when you're weeding it or when you're uh, putting it down on the surface then sometimes it comes apart easily so that's why you would want to weld so let's click on this again and we're going to have this when it's the green squares on it it means that you can still be able to edit it okay so I'm going to go ahead and click highlight that area I'm going to click my mouse on the right side and I'm going to go all the way down here to where it says weld and then watch what it does look how all that lettering is now connected together now this E is not connected to the V but that's just the way that script is is made okay so that's one way you can do it now you can undo by going up here to the undo button and you see that now it's going to be right back to being separated okay that's one way that you can weld is to do the right click on your mouse here's another way that you can do it you can say on a Mac command shift W and you see that welded it now another way that I can undo instead of using this button up here is I can use the keyboard shortcut of command Z or control Z if you have a PC Okay, and the same thing, if I had this and I highlighted it and it was a PC, I would say Control Shift W and it would weld that together. Let me show you that you cannot change it once you've welded it. You see that I, when I click on that, my editing dots come up. It won't do that little green box anymore. So that means I cannot change the error that I made. So if I've done a bunch of other things like make it the size I want and everything, uh, I'm not going to be able to change those things. I'd have to go all the way back. So I'm going to go back to where it is not welded together. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and click right here on the green box. When there, there's a green box, you can edit things. So I'm going to go over here and now you can see that I have my wording correctly and I'll go ahead and highlight again right click go down to weld or command shift W if you have a Mac or control shift W if you have a PC and I also want to show you another thing so if you don't group this when you get ready to move it you could go like this and see how it's going to move that letter and I'm going to do Command-Z or Control-Z to make it go back. 
So you're going to want to group that, okay? So you're going to click on it, and you say group. And there you go. Now the next time I move it, I can do like that. I can put the binding box around it, and I can make it bigger or smaller. I can come over here to my colors, and I can make it pink like that. And so when you're getting ready to put it in your send area, that way it's going to be already grouped together. Okay, so I hope that helped you learn how to weld and the reasoning why we would want to weld. Check out my Facebook page, The Silhouette Teacher. I put things on there weekly, and if you have any questions, it's a great way for you to get in touch with me. Or you can go to my courses, and there are free courses on there, and then there are courses that cost money. And once you buy the course, you can still email me, or sometimes we'll even talk by phone if you have any questions, because I want you to be very satisfied with the course that you take. And that's at thesealteacher.teachable.com dot com doesn't cost anything for you to check it out and also my email address is the seal teacher at gmail.com i really had a good time cutting up with you today hope to see you soon have a wonderful tuesday